Welcome to You Can Do It, I'm your host Chris, and in this video we're going to be installing a Square D Surge Arrester. It's for a 200 amp service, and it's the HEPD50. It's good for 50 kiloamps, and we're going to show you how to install this. We're going to be putting it into, it's, this is a recessed panel, but it's got exposed knockouts on the bottom, and so we're going to show you how to install this, so stay tuned. Sure. It's compatible with any panel. It says it right down there at the bottom. Compatible with any panel. And it meets the 2020 National Electrical Code. So this surge arrester, it can be mounted indoor or outdoor. So in this situation here, this installation, this is gonna be mounted inside a garage. And as you can see, it's mounted in the stud bay. So what you're going to essentially, do, what you want to do is you want to find a half inch knockout. We're going to be mounting this in the bottom of the panel. We're going to take out one of these half inch knockouts right here. Um, some installations, if the panel is surface mounted, instead of recessed in the stud bay here, you can come through on the side of the panel. Um, as you can see, there's some concentric knockouts right here, but not every panel is the same. This is a Square D 200 amp home line panel. So there's QO Square D panels and there's the home line. The home line, uh, the breakers just slide in to the slots as you can see on the busing there. And the QO uh, Square D panels, they snap in. Now, depending on what your service is or your uh, sub panel, it just all depends on the circuit breakers that you're going to need for your panel. You're going to make sure that you get the UL listed breakers for your service. So I'm using the home line uh, circuit breakers for this panel and I'll be installing them um, probably over here, just somewhere up in the top here. They give you enough wire uh, with the surge arrester to reach pretty much anywhere in your service. Um, uh, you will need uh, circuit breakers, a 15 amp two pole or a 20 amp two pole or a 30 amp two pole. Um, I'm gonna be using a two pole 15 amp breaker. Surge arrestor out of the box. The wires are coiled up in the top of it. You're gonna wanna straighten these out. So you're just gonna wanna unwind them and make sure they're nice and straight. You don't want to shorten these wires too much. I usually leave the wires as long as possible. I don't, I don't cut any of this off. I'm just going to leave the excess in the panel, mainly because this is a sealed unit. So if you cut these wires too short, and let's say you need to move some circuit breakers around in the panel, you want to add something down the road, you're either going to have to pigtail these wires to the other location, um, it just makes it harder to move circuit breakers around in your panel. So I usually leave the wires long. I'm going to now remove the half inch concentric knockout in the bottom of the panel here by using a pair of needle nose pliers. They give you a half inch lock nut on the device. You're gonna unscrew that, pull the half inch lock nut off the wires. And at this point, if you don't like working on live power, I would recommend turning off your main breaker on the panel. This is the main breaker. I'm gonna just do this live. I've been doing a lot of these, but I recommend if you're not feeling good about working on your panel here live, just turn the main breaker off. Um, stay away from the busing coming into that feeds the main breaker because this portion or the, or the lugs over here on this side of the panel they're hot so you just want to you want to always understand uh where the live parts are on your panel have a meter check it and know what's live so um, we're going to go ahead and install the wiring through the concentric knockout bring it up through and then install the lock nut. Bring it back over the wires, slide it down. And thread it on. 
just make sure you don't cross thread the lock nut it is plastic now this device can be installed indoor and outdoor now you can take a screwdriver and tap the lock nut just snug it up it is plastic you can over tighten it and ruin the threads so I'm just going to kind of tap it on there a little bit. There we go. So that portion's done. I'm going to center it up so we can see it. You can read it, make sure it's nice and visible. All right, now we're going to install the breaker. I'm putting in a 15 amp two pole home line breaker. It's a slide in, just slides right onto the bus bar. All right, so we're gonna bring the breaker up in here. So you can see right here on the back side or on the bottom, there's these notches. Those plastic notches are going to line up on the right side or the left side of your service. You can see these notches. That's where the breaker slides in to keep it nice and firmly installed. And then you just, just kind of press it over the bus bar here. Sometimes they can be rather stiff, but that just went on nice and snug there. So two pole 15 amp breaker. They say you can use a two pole 15, a two pole 20, and a two pole 30. That's the maximum. Now the wire that feeds out of your search arrester it's 14 gauge wire. I'm using a 15 amp breaker. 14 gauge is good for 15 amps. That's what I'm using. But the manufacturer specs say you can use a 15 amp, 20 amp, or 30 amp two pull breaker, your choice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and separate the wires here from they're all coiled up, so I'm gonna get the two hots, the neutral, which is the white wire, your ground, which is the green, and I'm going to route them to their proper locations. So if you have a main service, the main meter service, if you're mounting this at the main service, you'll notice that your grounds and neutrals, they're all on the same bus bar. If it's a sub panel, your grounds and neutrals will be separated. So in this case here, this is the main service. We have a meter that's right on the other side. So this is the main service. We're gonna land both the neutral and the ground on the same ground bar here. It's a ground neutral bar. So I'm just gonna fold these wires up in there. Like I said, I'm not gonna cut anything off. This is a sealed unit. It'll give us enough wire if we need to move things. Okay, so we've got it installed. This is what it looks like at the bottom of the panel. We don't have the breaker turned on, but I just wanna show you how the wires are routed in, the neutral wire and the ground are landed on the same ground bar. This is the main panel, so we can bring the neutral and the ground to the same busing. And then over here, we've got our two pole 15 amp breaker with the two black wires running to the breaker. So we're gonna go ahead and power this guy on. And let's go down here and see what we've got. And the light is on and it's green, which means it's protecting the panel. So that's it. It's pretty, pretty basic install. That device will mount on any 120, 240 volt service panel. Now, one way to determine if your panel is 240 volts, you can go to your meter and you can see right here, the meter says 240 volt three wire. So, um, that's one way to look at it or you can just get a meter and just check the voltage if you're unsure what kind of voltage you have at the panel 
for that particular breaker. Where the HEPD50 surge arrestor, it's a whole home surge protective device. It's a, a compact surge suppressor de designed for installation in residential electrical panels, 100 amp or 200 amp panels. Um, and it provides effective and reliable surge suppression for appliances, electronics, and home equipment. Um, in this particular device here, the HEPD50, it'll uh, do, it'll protect downspring connected household equipment coverage up to $50,000, it says. It's got a three year warranty. Um, and they do have an HEPD80, which does $75,000. Um, so um, this one's the middle one, and it's one of the more common ones they use. You can go with the bigger one if you have a bigger service or if you have a lot of electronics. Um, but this is the 50, uh, it's the HEPD 50. So it's essentially a pretty easy install for putting in the surge arrestor. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you might want to call a qualified electrician. But hopefully this video helped you so that you could put this in yourself. And uh, thank you for watching You Can Do It. Stay tuned for our next video.